G'day, thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be looking at this Milwaukee Laser Distance Finder. So it's got a really nice rubber over mold on the outside that just sort of acts as a nice grip. So it's quite easy to hold and it's actually a really nice and small unit so it's easy to hold in the hand. As far as buttons, it's got the turn on and off button there that I just pressed and then it's got a laser button or a measure button on this side and also on this side. So these two buttons do the same thing so I guess it just depends on how you're holding it, which one's easier to press. Sort of on the back, just this little clip. Um, it's quite sturdy actually, although it is plastic and it does kind of clip off on the side, so you do have to be careful with it not to pull it too hard. But then the way sort of that works is whenever that button's pressed, and you can see the laser here as well for roughly where, I mean, for where that measurement's being taken. While that's on, it just continuously measures and takes a distance. So then once you press it, it actually stops. It's almost like a hold there as well, so it just shows, shows the distance on there. Really nice backlight, quite a nice screen, um, seems seems pretty well shielded as this is sort of designed for, for rough use. So that comes off pretty easily, the little clip, and then we just got batteries, batteries here. So two AAA batteries, <laughs> very clearly marked with the AAA, which is always nice. And then it's just got four screws there, which I assume will open up the case. So let's get digging into that. So what I didn't mention is, I'm not sure if this has an actual water resistant IP rating. It doesn't look like it, I can't sort of clearly see it on there anywhere. But it does have this really nice uh, sort of rubber, rubber ring all the way around. And then when the case actually, uh, so when this back plate actually kind of pushes on, it just pushes against that and it creates a little bit of a water um, sort of resistant rating, I guess. Or not rating, but a seal. It is interesting though that these two screw holes here are actually straight through that. So in those two spots, there's virtually no protection. Um, water will just seep straight through and into it. Although, as I said, I don't think this actually is rated, but it's nice that they've put a little bit of thought into, into just keeping that sort of water out and dust out of that compartment. So it seems like it's just the two parts sort of clamshell together, snap open, all right, awesome. And then we just have a little ribbon cable just come loose so that just goes to the buttons a um, couple more screws there let's dig into that and then also we'll have a look at this in a bit all right so this bottom bit um, is just a super simple PCB basically this side has just a ground plane and then a little track over there and there'll be a wire through that'll just come to that button so that button is just a, on the PCB will just be exposed contact and then it's just a little sort of dome shape a bit of metal that's placed on top and as you push that down you got that nice little click and um, that's what shorts the, the two little tracks together underneath. And these are just rubber, again injection molded um, rubber bits with a little dot in the center so as that sits on here it gets pressed and it um, actuates those two buttons. So that, that's all that is. Again, it's kind of nice to see there's a little little channel inside that, well, I guess sort of two little channels that come up against this, and this is rubber, so if there's enough pressure on this, this will provide quite a nice seal. And then we've got the actual main unit, so around the screen, there's also this little bit of rubber so I would assume, again, that sort of pressures down against this and just holds it in place and maybe even has some sort of environmental protection. Don't think it actually does. So there's a second, I mean, this this, this window here is all tr translucent plastic that's glued in place and actually held in there really well. So I doubt any moisture or dust could get through that. So this rubber probably isn't there for a seal, but it probably is just because the screen is pushed up against that, just to sort of sandwich it together and hold it, hold it nicely in place. There's a few more screws here, so I'll undo those and we can have a look at the main PCB. Alright, so that does actually come out, but what I didn't notice is just down here, it's got, that's where the battery terminals come through. And just down there, it actually comes up perpendicular to the PCB 
and they're actually just soldered directly onto the contact on the PCB there. So I can't actually take that out completely without unsoldering those and I just I don't want to break them or bend them off too much. But we can see we can see enough I guess on this side. So there's that side button here as well. So that's just a different different button to what's done on here. This is just an actual um, proper tactile push button there. And that's just again to activate that side button. Then on the left here, there's just three pins going into it. So that's just going to be the little laser, the, the blue laser. Sorry, the blue, the green, the red laser. Red everywhere, why am I seeing different colors? The, the red laser that shines up. And then this here would be the actual um, measuring instrument. So within that, there's probably going to be another laser, infrared or somewhere not in the visible spectrum. And what that'll do is it will just send out a pulse and then wait and measure the amount of time that that pulse takes to come back. So bounce off of whatever it's measuring and come back into it. There'll be a photosensitive component in there that will read, read that laser, coming back with the pulse, coming back into it. And again, just that measurement of the time. So it's called the time of flight. Basically the flight, it, it measures the time that it takes for that laser to fly from this module to the object it's measuring and then back. So it basically then just divides that by two. Speed of light is constant constant enough in, in, in an atmosphere, in Earth's atmosphere, and then basically it just determines the distance based on that. So I'm not sure how well that'll come up on camera, but just there's a little bit, little bit of circuitry just there, sold it on, and then it would probably just have, again, a, a, a emitter and receiver on that side. And then on this side, we've got a nice screen held in place. So it's held in place by the two screws there, which hold the whole board together, but it still stays on pretty solid. So I'm not sure what else is holding it could even just be soldered in there. I don't really want to dig through too much because it is a piece of glass. I don't want to go breaking anything, but it's got a really nice metal case all the way around. So that holds it really firmly in place. It's just going to be a liquid crystal display. Basically, oh, it might actually come up. There we go. So basically just a couple of layers of glass sandwiched together with liquid crystals and then a polarizing filter and whichever pixels need to be lit up or whichever parts of the screen, sorry, not pixels, need to be lit up, just get a voltage applied and, and sort of that polarization filter will just flip and let the light through. And then speaking to that, there's gonna be some LEDs. Oh yeah, okay, cool. So we can see that there's two screws underneath there that'll hold probably that case or the, the screen on. I can't see that much more, but it's just taken this nice sort of um, metal plate for the screen off. And whatever's under there, it just seems to be shielded. Um, just a sh shielding cover under there. So there's probably going to be an actual microcontroller under there. Um, there's going to be crystal oscillator here as well, because this has to measure time really precisely. And it's dealing with the lasers and the speed of light, which is obviously really fast, especially if you're doing short distances. So there's going to be crystal oscillator in there that'll oscillate it up very specific frequency that the microcontroller will measure and determine time based on that. So most likely all of that's sitting under there and it's just shielded to just prevent it from any electromagnetic interference or, or anything like that. And then, sorry, back to the screen, there's gonna be a couple of LEDs um, or some LEDs, I can't really tell where, probably might even just be in this sort of black little bit here, but just to act as a, as a backlight. So most likely, actually, I think I can see. So I think that very, very last, very back layer of glass there is where the LEDs actually shine into. And then the screen sort of starts, starts here and goes to the end. Um, so this black bit here will just act as a little circuitry for those LEDs. And then those LEDs again, just turn on and light up the whole screen. So it's got a nice little clip here just for the screen to be able to take it on and off. Another microcontroller controller here that might even also be doing most of the work and then just have some other measurement components in there or maybe analog to digital converters or something like that under that shield. But yeah, so we go with that. And then just a couple of other components. Not, not exactly sure what, what this down here is. Doesn't really correspond to anything. That there's just an inductor and then we've got a little diode and a couple of small capacitors, a little bit of filtering for that voltage, tiny little surface mount components on there but not sure not sure what this part here actually is maybe maybe it's some sort of um a converter because it is near the battery so maybe it is something to do with power filtering or something like that if, if anyone knows what that is um please let me know down below i'm curious to find out and then yeah again just have that ribbon cable that goes onto this other board which which just has the two switches so that's pretty much it that's, that's kind of all there is to it again just sort of one big pcb 
a couple of lasers and a, and a um, time of flight sensor screen and then batteries on the back but really really well put together even just up the top here actually there's there's a little bit of rubber almost like a little rubber sleeve around sort of the laser assembly which will seal up against this case the, the hard plastic case so again probably just there to, to prevent the ingress of any sort of foreign um, foreign contaminants like like water or or dust really well put together that the, it's amazing to see the screen actually held in there by its own bracket and and quite quite well built and and, and a good job with this because i guess this this is all solid state nothing's really moving in this at all and this will be in a toolbox so it'll get thrown around smashed up with other components and bits and pieces so the screen's also well protected for that it might get scratched but, but pretty well protected um as always, sort of Milwaukee's has done a really good job with this. All looks designed really well, quite quite for those rugged conditions. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you've learned something. If nothing else, hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've got a second, just hit that like button, please. I'd really appreciate it. And if you do want to see more of this stuff, um, then consider subscribing. So thanks very much and have a good one.